I'm Wake Speed Jr., Total Seal Piston Rings, and I'm here in Moments, Illinois with my good buddy, Charles Navarro from Allen Engineering. Air cool guys and gals, listen up. This guy's got some information for you. So most of you are probably already aware that we work really closely with Mala Motorsport, uh, and we have brought back previously NLA sets. For those of you who don't know what NLA means, that's no longer available. So old sets that maybe were uh, available through Andile back in the day, uh, we've been identifying uh, sets that engine builders are looking for. So we're bringing those back. Uh, they feature Mall Motorsports pistons and our Nikki cylinders. Um, that and also we work really closely with Total Seal. Uh, and in part of that collaboration, uh, we can also supply Total Seal gap lifts or gas ported rings with any of the Mala Motorsport and Nikki's combos. Uh, but today I really wanted to highlight that the newest product that we have in partnership with Total Seal are our OE replacement piston ring sets for air cooled Porsche 911 applications. So this would be, like I said, for a OE replacement. So on, for somebody that's got an older engine, let's say the cylinders look to be in pretty good shape, the pistons are in good shape, and but the rings are all a little worn out, maybe use a little bit of oil, something like that. Like, you know, I want to freshen it up, but I'm not ready to go all the way to Nikki's to brand new pistons, or maybe you're halfway. Yeah, I'm not going to do cylinders, but I'll do pistons and rings. Now we have a ring package that is actually the factory guts and ring, but just with some upgrades to it. Yeah. So what we did is, I've said factory uh, guts and ring to begin with. So for those who know, yep, here are the factory two-piece oil rings that are known for their good oil control, yep. especially with the older cylinders. So you get the factory oil ring to begin with. Of course, what Total Seal is known for historically is our gapless ring design. So here we have a gapless second ring combination, which we know works really well in flat engines because every one of those end gaps, which you have to have on a ring, is a leak path. Especially in a flat engine, this is solved by having a gapless rail that assembles over the sander second ring and seals that gap. So it also helps to improve intake stroke. There's a lot of good things about the total seal gap this ring. Been around for 53 years now. Yes. <laughs> Pretty widely accepted in a lot of circles. So factory oil ring, total seal second ring with the factory steel ring on top. So you get all the benefits of the factory ring set along with the total seal upgrade. That way, if you've got that older engine that you're not ready to go there yet, you can recondition it and get it going. Now, Charles, we, as we talked about in previous videos, good ring seal isn't just about the piston ring itself, not just the oil you're using, the surface finish of that cylinder is critically important. Talk a little bit about what will qualify a bore as something that can be freshened up and re-ringed. Re so with Nikasil, everyone uh, knows that it's a very hard, very durable, long-wearing surface. Uh, so what you really are looking for, if you have any scratches that you can catch with your fingernail, that would be for us, that's a no-go, uh, that at that point you need to strip the cylinder, replate it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that you're looking for is ovale and taper. So there is a wear limit. Uh, the wear limit that we call out uh, is about two thousandths. So if the cylinder has more than two thousandths of valley and taper, it's probably a good idea to strip the cylinder, replate it. Uh, the other thing that you need to consider is if an engine has suffered from detonation uh, or it has been overheated, it's common for the heat treat to get wiped out of the cylinder. Right. The cylinder will get soft, and it's typically on the exhaust side, so the bottom of the cylinder, that will get soft, and the top will still have its, its proper hardness. So what will happen if you recondition that cylinder, you run it, it's gonna kind of have memory, and it's gonna wanna go back out around. So um, if there's, so basically you don't want to reuse a cylinder that has suffered through some 
uh, tra abuse. traumatic yet yeah, abuse <laughs> or traumatic event, especially if it's a race engine. Mm -hmm. If it's been run uh, 100 hours, it's best Bobby. just to replace the cylinders because you're not going to get another 100 hours. Even if you strip and replay it, you're not going to get the same life out of a race run component versus a new component. Right. So there, obviously, this would be a really good upgrade package for someone that has an older car that intends to historic race the car, yep. where this package is probably a little better combination for someone to say concourse restoration car, where you're trying to keep the car as new or as original as possible. Right. You know, for the and I understand that right when you have the car that's got value and you want it to be in good running condition for the value of the car, this is a way to have that high level of running condition while maintaining the originality of the car, if we will. Correct. And there's something else I'd like to point out on uh, this new gapless, uh, the, the ring sets. Typically from a manufacturing standpoint, uh, top rings are light tight. They've been, uh, mm -hmm. they've been lapped. Yes. So to make correct. sure yes. that they're round and they seal. And uh, Total Seal goes one step further with this ring set. So they take the second ring, which typically is not a lapped ring, and you actually, performance engine builders will actually light check the rings to make sure they're concentric with the bore. Correct. Because if you see any light between the ring and the bore, that's a path mm -hmm. for, for combustion pressure loss. Right. So Total Seal laps the rings to get them light tight. Yes. So the exact there are same this, lapping process yeah. as the top ring is performed on the second ring as an additional step to make sure this ring is the very best possible second ring you can put in your engine. Yep. Exactly. So yeah, so you got a kind of a great combination here. We've got restoration pieces to get the restoration job done right. We've got performance pieces for the performance upgrade, the enthusiast, so that it's really a one-stop shop where all the right materials, coatings, because that's a big thing. With Nicosil, you can't just run any old ring material, any old ring coating. So these are basically carefully matched sets, essentially, of rings, bores, piston coatings, so that the right job is done because you've got the right materials. Correct. And if you're buying a, a, a complete piston cylinder set from us with a Mala Motorsport with the Nikki's, you know the surface finishes, ovality taper, all our cylinders 100% quality check, so we know they're spot on. So all you have to do is clean them and assemble the engine. And likewise, if you're going the route of reconditioning uh, your uh, original cylinders and using a ring set, performance ring set like these, uh, we can also assist with uh, having your cylinders replated. And yes, you can go directly to uh, plating companies there to have that done. There's several of them. Uh, but going through us, We'll put your cylinders through our extra levels of quality control that we do in-house to verify surface finishes are correct, that the cylinders are sized properly, that they're round. So we go the extra steps so that you don't have to check that. So you know when you get it that it's right. Okay. Hey, we're at L Engineering. All the engineering work to make your old Porsche run better, already done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.